If you're thinking of taking your woodworking hobby to the next level, or you're just interested in seeing how someone turns it into a business, and you want to see it happen with full, and I mean full transparency, then this channel might be for you. Here you'll find weekly behind the scenes videos that go into detail with open honesty about the day-to-day -day operation of running a furniture business. Over on my main channel, I do companion build videos that go into detail on each one of the projects. If all of that sounds like something that you would like to watch, then my name is Robin Lewis, and welcome to my second channel. Righto, and with that out of the way, welcome to a very busy start to my work week. Hi there, just a regular cappuccino and a Snickers slice, please. I had a comment on my last video, someone saying that they don't know what this video or channel is about, which is fair. I don't really talk about that very often. I kind of see the, the audience as being mates and we're all on the same page. And I'm not thinking about new viewers or, or a new audience coming to the channel. So this video is gonna serve as a channel trailer that gets added to your main channel page. And so that intro, was really for any new people or new visitors to the channel. First stop is collecting the prospects. Yeah. <laughs> that is some heavy prospects. Let's get this day started. On the point of getting everyone up to speed on what the channel is, I think it's probably a good idea to do a recap on what's going on. So behind me is a reptile enclosure. That is the biggest commission I've had since going full time. I started this just after the new year and it is taking way longer than I wanted. So I'm really pushing to get this completed. I hope to have it done within the next month. And at the same time, I'm also working on this, which is a high chair, another client commission. I'm expecting to have that this taken care of within the next week, maybe two. And then after that, I'm going to be starting work on building a office in this corner of the workshop. Really excited about this. All of these projects that I'm working on behind me are going to have project videos where I go through the whole process of quoting, building, etc., etc. But those will be over on my main channel. Okay, and hopefully that brings everyone up to speed on what this channel's about, what I'm currently doing with all of the different projects. And if you are new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy this content. And now I'm gonna get to work. Okay, this week's goal, finish sanding this cabinet all over and then get a coat of finish on it. After that, I'm moving on to the tracks. So these need to... Actually, I'll just, I'll just show you. Now, I've done a few cuts with this already, so I'm not gonna ham up the drama, uh, but this is really the first time that I'm cutting aluminum on my miter saw. First cut, I was pretty nervous. Um, I've done a few now, and as all the YouTube videos say, it is basically just like cutting wood. You go a bit slower, you make sure that blade stops before bringing it back up, but I mean, that's good practice either way. But other than that, it's just like cutting wood. So I'm getting an idea of what it'll look like now. We've got the angle, which the track will terminate into. This angle is gonna ensure that if the perspex, when it meets, let's say it's the perspex, when it meets this side, if it's not, because this angle's not perfectly square, if the perspex was meeting at that angle, sort of exaggerated, it's gonna be behind here, so you won't see it. So that does two jobs. It also, as I say, gives that something nicely to delete into, and then there'll be another track running across here. So overall, I'm liking this, and I'm actually kinda of happy I went with the aluminum uh, look. I was originally gonna put something across this to cover this with the uh, timber, but I actually kinda of like it. it. It breaks the the timber and breaks it up and it will you've sort of got the timber break and then you will have the the feature behind it so i kind of i, I kind of like it let me know in the comments what you think and that is where i'm leaving it for today uh, i normally go have a break about two hours ago but i'm making such good progress and it's just starting to look so cool i'm getting so excited about it now that uh, i really need to go eat something
All right, that took way quicker than I was expecting. And man, it comes up good. Like simple, straight up uh, linseed oil. So I'll give this at least 24 hours and then I'll uh, sand it back with something high like 600 grit. And then I'll do another coat and then I'll call that done. I haven't cut purse bags before, but from my little bit of research that I've done, there's two things you need to make sure. If you're going to use a circular saw, you need to have a high tooth count and your hook angle of your teeth needs to be relatively low. So a normal circular saw is around, I think it's five to 10 degrees, whereas this one is it's either one or negative one, depending on how you read the marketing on the box. All right, first cut, here we go. I'm expecting no drop. Besides being a bit of a slow cut, that's perfect. So you can see here, this is the factory cut. And this is the saw cut. That's perfect. Awesome, stoked. What a mess. And everything sticks to everything. <laughs> I've ended up opening up the shop to get some air in here, um, which I hate doing because all that nice conditioned air now gets blown out and it's hot and humid. But just the smell from that perspex is just lingering in the air and I don't like the idea of that um, being something that I'm breathing in. All right, I've drilled all the holes out for the tracks. Now it's time to do a test fit. I'm still gonna keep the film on the, the perspex, so it's not gonna run smoothly, but this is the first time I'm gonna see how it all fits together. All right, and that's where I'm gonna end this one. It's a bit of a shorter episode this week uh, with school holidays and the Easter long weekend. Just been a stack of family time. But thanks very much for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you in the next one.